Hello everyone, this is Solomon of Solomonic Demons and today we're going to be comparing my LTD Elite Eclipse with my Harley Benton SC Custom. Now, a couple of months ago when I did buy my Harley Benton SC Custom, I did say that this guitar, even if it is a single cut guitar, it is not focused in the market of the Gibson Les Paul, either the standard, the classic, or the traditional. What I did say on that video that what these guitars are trying to replicate is actually what the ESP Eclipse guitars are. Because both of these single coil guitars are thinner if we compare them with a Gibson Les Paul guitar, are lighter, and they do have a very modern profile neck so the guitars really have a similar feeling a similar weight of what it is a very good alternative to a Gibson Les Paul guitar when you are looking for something like I said lighter thinner and a little bit more modern now for those that don't know the LTD Elite range of guitars is already discontinued and these guitars actually lasted only for two years on the market these were discontinued 10 years ago in 2014 and actually i did an entire video about the biggest mistake of esp that was the ltd elite range of guitars and the equivalent of what these days these guitars are it is an e2 eclipse guitar so um, the E2 Eclipse guitars these days are around $2,500 new, so that's a very expensive guitar. And these guitars are made in Japan. And in the case of the Harley Benton SE Costume, um, this guitar a new cost me $300, and then it was almost $100 of shipping all the way here to the United States. Um, so the total price of the guitar new was $400. So that's why I have decided to compare them. Because before you look for a used LTD Elite, for a used ESP standard, for a E2 Eclipse guitar, you might be want to check a Harley Benton SE Custom. So let's go to the bench and let's compare the specifications of these guitars. And then at the end of the video, I will tell you my conclusion and what I do think about all of these guitars. Okay, in the case of my LTD Elite Eclipse, the construction of this guitar is a mahogany body with a flame maple top with a mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard. Now, this is the preferred kind of wood that you are looking when you are interested in this kind of guitars. When I mean with this kind of guitars, it is with a single cut guitar, right? Or at least that's the most popular. Now, we get 22 nickel frets with a go to magnum locking tuners. Now, in the bridge and tailpiece, we get a go to TOM. For the pickups, we get a set of Seymour Duncan JB on the bridge and a 59 on the neck. We get a volume neck and a master tongue with a three way toggle switch. If we go to the back of the guitar, we get a nice belly carve and the construction of the guitar it is a set neck construction now in the new models of the e2 eclipse or the esp ltd elite deluxe that are the premium models of this brand these days they do not offer this kind of construction anymore they do offer a more modern kind of construction and the last thing of this guitar in specific it is made in japan and this it is because this is the ltd elite like i said the equivalent of a esp e2 eclipse or a esp standard now if we talk about the ltd deluxe series of guitars that is a premium current version of a ltd guitar and those guitars are made either in korea or in indonesia now the specifications of the Harley Benton SC Custom 2 are the next ones. We have a Maranti body with a quadruple flame of maple veneer top. It also has a Maranti neck with a roasted Jatoba fretboard. Now these are very different specifications. You will compare them with the ones that I just said about the LTD Elite. There are the same ones that comes in your E2 Eclipse line of guitars or at least the majority of them. Same thing with the LTD Deluxe or 1000 series of guitars. But if you keep reducing 
reducing the prices on the series of the Eclipse line, you find that the most inexpensive versions of the Eclipse also use alternative materials uh, in the constructions of their guitars in terms of the wood. And honestly, I don't have too much problems with this, except with the fretboard, but this is more a personal uh, thing and I will discuss this more at the end of this video. So the next uh, specifications that we have on this guitar are the profile neck. This is a modern C neck profile, a very similar profile neck of what we get on the LTD line of guitars. 22 medium jumbo frets, two Rosewell Laugh Alnico 5 Humbucker pickups, two volumes, one tom. Now this guitar have a push-pull function and a three-way switch. Now for the hardware, uh, the bridge is just a unbranded bridge, but we get Grover matching heads for the tuners. Okay, now in the back of the Harley Benton, we can see that this guitar also have a belly card. In the plastic covers, the plastic covers are practically identical at the ones on the LTD Elite. Now, the biggest difference that we have it is in the construction of the guitar in the union of the set neck. And this one, the one on the Harley Benton SC Custom, is definitely a very modern set neck construction. Currently, ESP offers you the same kind of construction on their premium models on the ESP E2 Eclipse line of guitars also in the LTD Deluxe line of guitars this is the kind of construction that they are using they are not using the more traditional way anymore the one that it is on my outdated LTD Elite right because this one the one of the Harley Benton SC Custom it is definitely a better set neck construction same thing with the horn ltd is using this more modern horn with this access not in all models but in a lot of models this guitar is made in indonesia or at least the one that i have all right guys so like i said the guitars are very similar in terms of construction and even if they use different kind of oats in these two guitars but if you go to the cheaper versions of the LTD line like the LTD 256 you're gonna find also variants on the materials that they use on the guitar the SC Custom might not be at the same level of what the E2 Eclipse uh, can offer you and because obviously it doesn't come uh, like i said with the branded pickups with the branded bridge i do prefer the rosewood so at the same time i won't put it at the same level of this guitar and because it really feels a little bit different i don't know if it is the grainy on the fretboard material and this kind of material doesn't feel like rosewood it feels more like you're playing like a maple uh, fretboard but that doesn't mean that it is bad it's just preferences so yeah i will say that the harley benton se costume does a great job trying to imitate um, the real deal that would be a e2 eclipse guitar or a ltd deluxe guitar the pickups sound definitely really similar. I think that these Rosewell pickups are definitely based on the Seymour Duncan JB and Jazz. And for the price, it's definitely a great guitar. So yeah, this was Solomon of Solomonic Demons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please take care. Bye.